Trina Curtis and I'm going to be showing you guys and telling you guys what the difference is between baking soda and baking powder. They both sound nearly the same and they can be used in like the same recipe like you might see both of them or you might just see one and it's really easy to mix them up because many people don't know the difference between them because they look so similar people just kind of think that oh I can just use each interchangeably but cannot so I'm going to teach you guys why you cannot and what can happen if you substitute one for the other now for the differences between baking soda and baking powder both look and sound obviously very similar but their uses are pretty different they both have the same object objective which is to make things light and fluffy mostly baked goods but they're done in different ways. So baking soda is from sodium bicarbonate and it, when it comes into contact with the liquid and acid, it produces carbon dioxide which will lift something and cause like bubbles to form. And this reaction starts immediately after you add it into your like baked good when you're mixing it in. So as soon as you're making something with baking soda, you wanna pop it in the oven or else it will start to deflate and the baking soda won't work as well. Where baking powder, all you need, it's also made from the bicarbonate of soda, but it's often added with an acid like um, cream of tartar, so you only need to add liquid to it. And this reaction is more flexible because when you add it in, it doesn't react as soon as you mix it in, it reacts a little bit when you mix it in, but it reacts more in the oven, so you get your big puff in the oven. And many people, oh, and one benefit of baking soda is that it helps brown stuff easier. So for cookies, if you add baking soda, it'll give you like a nice golden um, hue on top. And the reason why you'll see both of these in the same recipe is that they kind of work together to create the best texture and taste for a baked good. Like if you're making buttermilk biscuits, the baking soda, it breaks down the acid really well. So it'll basically neutralize the buttermilk and you won't get really any tang anymore. So if you add baking soda and baking powder, a little bit of each, then you can break down some of the buttermilk with the baking soda and get the lift then, right when you mix it. And then if you add baking powder, you're not breaking down all the tangy buttermilk flavor, but you're still adding more lift so that you achieve the same lift, but without breaking down all the like the sweet or the tangy and like sour notes of the buttermilk. They cannot be substituted. That's like the most important thing. You can't necessarily substitute them in recipes just because they do do different things depending on the baked good, but they work together. And if you work with them together in the right way, they can turn out better than if you just use one of them, obviously. And yeah, that's how you can tell the difference between them so that you don't mess up your next batch of cookies, pancakes, cakes, anything that you're making with any of them. And this should help you in the future.